had to go for the qualifying. Lost in the qualies here. Lucky loser you mentioned, and he made the most of it. He, he certainly did. And listen, this is the first time in nearly 10 years that Andy Murray held match points, tour level match, and lost. Pam, he had seven of them. What's your takeaway from this match? Well, I think Murray said it all when he was walking off the court, just shaking his head. He couldn't believe he lost that match. And when you think about the last five, six weeks, I feel like half the time we're seeing Andy Murray pull out amazing matches or push a top 10 player to the limit. His comeback has been such a great highlight the last couple of months. This will really sting, but evidently, Jim, you think he's going to take the wild card next week? I we're think hearing. he needs some rest, but he can rest after Stockholm. Yeah, that's what we're hearing. We'll see if he, if, I think they've offered him one in Stockholm. We'll see if he decides to take it. I suspect he will. I don't think you want to finish the season no. if you're Murray with that as your last match. Even though, look, he, he is supposedly also going to tinker with his racket, possibly switch frames, looking for a little bit more power in the offseason. We'll see if that comes. And you need time, as you know, to do that. But uh, that, that's a tough loss. I'd want to put that behind me and play next week if I were him. Another three-hour match for Andy Murray. Could not come through today. Dominic Kupfer, 